this all makes sense to me. Was it upsetting for you when you were reading through some of these studies and researching for the book to see how many people actually believe these these racial studies? Yeah, um, it wasn't upsetting, but I it it, it um, does make me angry mm -hmm. when I read this kind of thing. I I get exasperated um, because it's bad science. Um, and I get particularly exasperated when the people who are peddling this bad science, anyone who critiques it, they'll say, oh, you're just trying to be politically correct. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and that is just nonsense. It's bad science is bad science. Um, it's bad science is not science. It's unscientific. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the, the kinds of views that are being put forward by, well, Steven Pinker on, on Ashkenazi Jews, Watson of Watson and Crick. Um, they just they are just bad science and that's and that's what makes me angry about them now I think the book is a step in the right direction to changing uh, people's mindsets when it comes to some of these issues do you think we're doing enough to change these mindsets or do you think it's something that we're leaving to just exist in the background well what worries me a little bit is the way um, the media often deals with these kinds of claims I mean I'll just give you one example the latest book what perhaps the worst of the lot um, is a book called A Troublesome Inheritance by a guy yeah. called um, Nicholas Wade. Now, Nicholas Wade was no lightweight. He was the um, science correspondent of the New York Times and a deputy editor of Nature magazine. Um, and he put out a book where he, he said that um, throughout the world, all population groups have evolved different, um, in, uh, uh, not only just different intelligence, but different personalities. So he said that um, Africans had evolved to be over-trusting tribalists who are not too bright, um, that the Finns had evolved to be violent drunks, that the um, Chinese had evolved to be over-authoritarian, the English, he's English, um, had evolved to be enterprising, um, and the sort of money quote was that the Jews had evolved to be good at business. And I kind of thought, where have we heard that one before? Yeah. Um, now this book received huge publicity. In on it was featured on Newsnight, which is a very big news mm -hmm. program, BBC news program um, in Britain. And Jeremy Paxman, who's the most famous interviewer, gave a kind of very uh, soft interview to this guy. And at the same time, in the Spectator magazine, which is a, a, a very important uh, magazine in Britain, conservative magazine, they ran this book as the cover story. Wow. Um, so you're getting bad science is, is getting good publicity and that is really worrying and the, and and I mean there are a number of reasons which I touch on in the book why um, the press or the media like to pick up on these things because it's 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 fiery because it's there's debate and 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 because it's controversial mm -hmm. and those stories are are therefore newsworthy but by by doing that they also giving publicity to some very yeah, insidious science. ideas yeah why do you think the media went so easy on him because it's easy to pick up on on something like that as someone in the media and and go in for the kill you know grill mm. them about their opinions mm. but why, why do you think it was taken so lightly well the pattern of it is always uh, it was the same with the bell curve is that the, you get the initial um, uh, publicity because the publicists uh, mm. do that in fact what, what I'm doing for this book mm. um, and uh, so they get a lot of, they, you know, there are a lot of interviews. The interviewers don't know the subject, so mm -hmm. they, um, they don't have the basis to kind of grill them on the, s on, on, yeah. on the science. And, and so they get the initial publicity. Then the rev a little bit later, then the reviews come out, and the reviews of, of a Troublesome Inheritance, including the New York Times review, right. was were absolutely scathing. Mm -hmm. And then you get the scientific papers coming out, which says, look, this research is nonsense for this reason. Um, but that never gets any publicity. So it's the initial stuff that gets publicity, which is positive. The later stuff, the critiques, the, um, the, you know, the grilling in one way or another. Nobody cares about Well, it's by then the story's over. It's the next story, the next we're on to the next thing, yeah. yeah. exactly. So that's how it works.